Hey guys, welcome to Monkey Doodle. Today we're going to do a cool character based on a jack-o'-lantern, okay? I'm going to call him Jack-o'-lantern the kid. So get your favorite utensil ready to draw with and draw with me. All right, here we go. Going to make a big curve over here and a bump, another bump, curve up, bump, and another bump to connect to the other one. So we have the shape of a pumpkin here, okay? At the top, we're going to do a stem with a little curved line, curve that comes out, and close it with a straight line. All right, I'm going to give this guy a face. So let's see, let's give it two nice oval eyes. One here and one here, maybe a little bit bigger to be silly. I'm going to do that cartoon eye effect curve in with a V and down with a curve. Curve in with a letter V and down with a curve. And my friend is looking that way. We could make it a little cute by putting a highlight in there. Little circle, little circle. And we'll color it black to make it more dramatic, okay? And then we really see how the eye starts to pop out. And that's a lot of fun when that happens, okay? It's kind of cool if you look at the dark part inside the eye, it sort of looks like uh, a little dark, you know, Pac-Man character or something in there. All right, so our friend is looking this way, but our friend is not upset. Our friend is happy, so big smile with a big curve there and let's do a curve right down here okay and we're going to put teeth in there I know it looks like it looks like a tongue for a second but it's really not we'll put some silly teeth in here our friend is really silly curve here and a curve there and let's do a little little pumpkin cut out triangle right there Okay, make that dark. And let's make this dark too. So yeah, our friend is really coming together now. All right. Pretty cool. Hope your guys turn out good. Now I'm going to make this a little bit wider here. Make this curve wider. All right. Just to kind of make more sense out of it. Okay. All right. Now, let's see, what can we do? We need to give our friend some arms. So, hmm, let's see. We're going to put a neck over here before the arms, of course, arms and legs. And we're going to make our friend have a curvy arm that comes out over here and a curvy arm that comes out over here. All right, starting to take shape. And we're going to put a curvy thumb here. And then one, two, three for the hand, three fingers. And we're going to go back here to a body. And we're going to do the same thing here, a thumb. And then one, two, three fingers and back. And we're going to do an arm that comes in here, another curvy line. Okay, and we're going to give our friend a body shape here. And let's see, what do we do now? Well, we have to give our friend some legs, our jack-o'-lantern, the kid. Let's see, so we're going to do one leg that comes out like this. And one leg that goes a little bit lower like that. So there's a little bit more movement. I wanted to give this guy a long, silly foot. Go up. And right to the body. Come around. Okay. And long, silly foot there too. Wow, look at that. This guy's really wacky. <laughs> Let's dress him up a little bit. Let's do a collar line here. And how about we do kind of like a strange, I don't know, maybe sort of overall thing going on. Or maybe not. It's a little bit different. So, yeah, we'll do that there. And let's see, maybe our friend, 
uh, is into skulls and there's a little skull here I don't know what a strange character he is Ooh. little smile there all right so what can we do now maybe we can give him like strange boots I don't know he's a strange character Jack-o'-lantern the kid. And we're going to put some lines here to make it look like those pumpkin lines. So put a curvy line here and it kind of continues down. A little curvy line there. Continues down between the eye and then here. And then maybe one that sort of goes up the middle a little bit. So it gives a little feeling that it's a pumpkin with detail. We'll put one here too near the side. See that? And those lines help it to look more pumpkin-like. And that's a good thing. All right, my friends, you could even put one over here if you'd like to. This guy's really silly. I don't know, he's, he's scaring me. Probably scaring everybody out of town. <laughs> All right. So we'll just do one more thing, and then we're going to hyperspace color like we always do. Maybe our friend has, I don't know, a bunch of ghosts flying around. So we can go, ooh. Yes, there's a ghost over here, but he's smiling. He's not too scared. And he's looking at uh, Pumpkin the Kid here. And Jack-o'-lantern the Kid has maybe another ghost friend this way. Ooh, maybe it's bigger. And this guy is also looking down at Jack-o'-lantern the Kid. Ooh. So yes, we have our ghostly friends in town. We'll make this mouth a little bit more ghostly too like thicker and wavy kind of yeah all right pretty cool and maybe maybe there are some other things down here but I'll let you guys decide that all right my friends are you ready to hyperspace color with this crazy Halloween pumpkin the kid or jack-o'-lantern the kid whichever you'd like to call him all right get ready get your markers ready let's hyperspace color If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, my friends. Happy Halloween! Hey, Babby, have you seen my drawing? Babby, where's my drawing? I need that drawing, Babby.